Hey man, welcome back to another Confusion Quiggy. Yesterday one of my Patreon he asked me how to do tiling. Hey, he wants to know some tiling action. Actually that was a pretty good question. And even though it's something so basic, there's a lot of confusion on how to do this. And trust me, it used to be much more complicated in Fusion 6.4. There you actually had to do some math to get your bump map tiled the same way that you tiled your color maps. Then there's the displacement maps, which also need a completely different approach. But let me show you how to go about and create tiling for your complete texture set. Hey, let's get started. Okay, so here you can see I have my little setup already prepared for you. And I'm using this yeah, tiling texture. Perfect for tiling. Yeah. You can see I have two materials here, the cook torrents material and the reflect material. So the cook torrents is basically the the back material for the or the, the the color material for the reflect material but we don't have to worry about this setup here what is interesting is actually our textures here now this is a single texture but in best case you would probably have all kinds of textures like the specularity the reflectance the, the bump map roughness kvd oh my god you name it if i hover over this because i don't remember this is the specular intensity and this is the cook torrents rough roughness material okay and as you should know by now the specularity maps all need to be in the alpha channel that's what this boolean tool is doing here and the brightness contrast in the front of that is basically just controlling the, the strength of the specularity and the roughness and so on and so on okay and then here we have the bump map and another uh specularity or in case of the reflect map it's the reflection intensity now this is basically the same as here at the top uh, just with some unique settings in the brightness contrast okay but let's assume that these are is our whole texture sets so let's just get started with the tiling so first i want to tile the diffuse map and for that if you have messed around with fusion already you might have come across this uh, texture 2d i'm going to drop it in and then you uh, might have tried to put it in here and then you're like, oh, oh this is not connected. Uh, why isn't it connected? Uh, let's try one more time. Uh, it's not connected. Yeah, if that's the case, you should know that this texture to the thing works only right in front of the material. This node has to go into the material. And because I wanted to put it in front of the router, it doesn't allow me to do so because from the router it also goes into a bitmap mask. And now that, that doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, so it has to be in here. Okay, and as soon as you hook it in, you're presented with these parameters here. And here, this is the usual stuff you used from your other 3D application. You have the UV scale. Okay, and let's bring this down to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and bang. And then you're like, hey, this is not tired. Yeah, of course not, because you have to activate the wrap mode. Okay, if you set this to wrap, it will be tiled perfectly, nice and clean. Okay, but of course now we have to tile the specular maps as well in the same fashion. And, and for that you might have thought, okay, I'm going to copy this over and hook it in here. And you're right. Now up until now everything works. One thing you want to consider is to actually link those parameters, those sliders, to the sliders here, or just make an instance. Let's do that. So I copy this and I paste in two instances. So, and then you thought, okay, now I can do the same thing with the bump map. So you paste in a texture 2D and bang, again, it doesn't let you hook it in. And then you might have tried this. Ah, oh, maybe I have to hook this in front of the bump map. Uh, uh, uh. No, it doesn't work. Maybe in front of this one. Uh. Yeah, that doesn't work. So the bump map needs something else. It's called texture transform. Now that is a technical thing. I cannot explain to you why exactly, but I just assume that the bump map is just technically uh, totally different handled than just a color map. So. Here in the scale, you can see now we have a UV and we have an additional W scale, which we didn't have in the texture 2D. So this has three coordinates here, but we only need the UV. So we put this down to 0.5 and this one as well. Oops. 
and now this used to be different in Fusion 6.4. These values were not equal to, the, to these values. Okay, but uh, let's not, let's forget about that because now it is the same. So now the bump and the color map and the specular maps, they all work nicely. However, the displacement, you can see the displacement is still not tiled. And by the way, here, another instance in here. And now we're good to go. Okay, so now here we're all set. But how about the displace 3D? How can we tile the displace? Now it's actually very easy. The answer is a transform node. For that, I'm going to use two viewers. And I'm going to put this in between here. I'm going to display it. And now in the size, we just add a 0.5. Same value as we had with the with the texture 2D. And now I just remembered, I forgot something very important um, that is hard to see because um, uh, the diffuse map is visible. So let's just not display the diffuse map. So for the bump map, the texture transform, actually, it doesn't give you the tile option like the 2D does. The way you tile a normal map or a bump map is in the bump map node itself. And here it's already set to wrap. I didn't, uh, I forgot to set it back. <laughs> yeah, well, this happens, okay. In the default mode, it's set to clamp, and then you get these streaks, okay. You also have this wrap thing in here, but you don't need to change it in the create bump map. You can change it only in the bump map node. So here you set it to wrap, and you get your tile texture. Sorry about that, and we're gonna move back to the displace. So the same for the transform, we need to wrap this. And here in the edge area, you can set this simply to wrap. And it's wrapped nice and clean. Now for this texture, it seems to be, it seems to be right. It's difficult to tell, but if I would load a different texture, I have a few tiles here. Let me just bring in a texture that is, this one is not tileable, but it's good for to show the difference. Now, you can see something is not right here. It's not displaced correctly. Now, this the size of the tiles is correct, but the position is not correct. And the way you calculate the position is by just dividing this value by 2. So, you would get 0 0.25. And here as well, 0 0.2. And you see that the transform gizmo here moved into the left corner and now the displace is correct okay but let's do another change here add this back and so let's say we have a value of 0 0.2 0 0.2 okay this is set correctly in here because it's an instance except the texture transform here we could link those to this texture to d so here i'm going to say expression expression and i'm going to simply link the u to the U and the V to the V. Bang. Okay, now it's linked, set to 2. And for the displace, again, 0 0.2 and divide by 2 is 0 0.1. You have a perfectly tiled surface. If the texture would be tileable. Let's choose this one again. Very nice. Okay, that's how you tile your complete texture sets. Okay. Okay, guys, that was a very quick, quiggy and i hope you learned something new i thought that if my patrons have questions uh, i thought it would be a ways to actually only answer that person and not to share this with everyone so that's what i'm gonna do um, from now on if you have questions just drop them over and i try my best to yeah make a quick quickie so my name is vito i'll see you soon until then support me on patreon <laughs> Now enjoy what you do. Yeah, see ya.